reason we have assembled here today. Further, welcome to all our clients, caregivers, volunteers, staff members, friends, donors, well wishers, whose presence makes today's celebrations especially memorable. The Manav Foundation is an organization that works in the field of adult mental health and is involved in research, training, outreach and awareness, networking and publicity, advocacy and last but definitely not the least, service provision under its umbrella. As a registered charitable trust, the Manav Foundation has been through several ups and downs and despite plenty of uncertainty, the Manav Foundation has been steadfast in its dedication. Rain or shine, empty coffers and pandemics, we have weathered them all, relentless in our support and services. Today, we celebrate our new rehabilitation centre. Today, we have a milestone that has been 20 years in making. And at this juncture, it is just as important to celebrate the journey as it is celebrated to the achievement. A journey that in commitment has become the driving force behind our organization's progress. Ensuring seamless and uninterrupted daily operations is a remarkable MANA Foundation team. I am requesting MANA Foundation team to be here around the dais. This exceptional team comprises our psychiatric social workers. So here we have Ms. Vini Mishra, me, myself, Devishri, our client assistant, Harsha Kubare. Our administrator, Vichai Londi, and the invaluable center staff, that is Usha, Shobha, and Vinod Kamli. <laughs> Together, they form the powerhouse that tackles our mission with a passion and efficacy with Ryan Zaveri, Amanullah Sheikh, and Vijay Bahadur, all contributing to our efforts of resource generation, adding the crucial element of the sustainability. It is vital to acknowledge that every effort put in by this dynamic team is the, is the statement. This journey started for me with a phone call early on in 2004 from a lady who lived in Churchgate and had this idea of starting a rehabilitation center for adults who live with mental illness. She invited me to help her with the specifics of her idea together and into place given that I had some prior experience with another re similar rehabilitation center in the past. I excitedly agreed to meet her and we casually met sitting in her bedroom, jotting down furious little notes and points on scraps of paper and the rest as they say is history. Without her passion, her dedication, and her perseverance, Manav Foundation would not have been. Mrs. Meena Mutta. Schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia. I was Chicken up. But there was a long list of things, a long list of uh, temperament, ups and downs. Manav's story was always like us. Same with me. Like me, Manav and me, always been in ups and downs. But Thank you. Which not only won hearts, but also earned her the prestigious Filmfare Award for Best Female Debut. Beyond her on-screen achievements, Bhagyashree has also been an advocate for mental health awareness. Her presence on this panel at the Mental Health Summit is a testament to her commitment to creating positive impact in society. She understands the importance of addressing mental health issues and using her platform to spread awareness and destigmatize the conversation around it. So with open minds and open hearts, can we please welcome Bhagyashree to share her wisdom and contribute to this vital discussion. Good evening everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to each and every one of you and a great beginning to Manav. 
Minu Jiri, thank you for having me here. I think after hearing stories of Fatima, Roshan, and Aparna, I think we need to give them a big, big round of applause for making an opportunity out of an obstacle which otherwise would have marred their life and their careers. So to be able to move forward in life, I think is the greatest journey of all and all of them have mastered the art. So kudos to all of them. I am so happy to be standing here to be associated with Nana right now. It has been working tirelessly for the last 20 years and finally they have got a home. So congratulations. I think when we talk about mental health, people always talk about the worst given situation. Like Aparna said, log pagal kehte hai, uh, log darte hai. Ki kya hum psychiatrist ke paas jaye? Should we go to a doctor? It will kind of create a stigma amongst our family, friends, people that we care and love about. Probably they'll look down upon us. But you know what's strange? In the world that we are living in today, it's not the worst given situation, but small situations which really require help from the society, from people around us, from our friends and family. And Manav gives that opportunity. It gives that opportunity for people who are probably living on their own. There have been a lot of nuclear families. There have been families which probably have come into this big city of Mumbai without having people around them all the time. Probably they have to work hard for their living and they have no other people to take care of their elders, probably their children, many times their sibling or even their spouse. You know, mental health is not always about bipolar, bipolar um, disorder, or about schizophrenia, or even just getting Alzheimer's. Mental health can be as small as having anxiety, depression, having um, probably menopause causes mental anxiety. Probably having your children leave the nest and the empty nest syndrome can cause anxiety and depression and that can be just a beginning to so many other problems. So many other problems that makes it difficult for us to live in society, to interact with our family, friends, to basically do our daily chores. They'll probably want you to just stay in bed and not get up and face the morning. You'd probably not want to see the daylight. You'd want to be stuffed up in your room. You don't want to meet anyone. You don't want to do anything. And that can be really bad. I think when we talk about bipolar disorder, we talk about schizophrenia, we talk about all these things, there are medications that can be done. You go to a doctor, you go to a psychiatrist, and they would probably be able to help you. But what happens when you come back home? What happens before you reach that stage? You need people around you to help you to understand what you're going through. And probably you don't know. I think that 20 years ago, the depression was not even known to anyone. नई माँ अपने बच्चे को जन्म देती थी और for so for some time for no reason at all she would probably be crying and not understand why बच्चा रोता था माँ रोती थी पता नहीं होता था कि क्यों रो रही है there would probably be parents who send their children off to boarding or maybe they leave their parents and go abroad and the mother who has dedicated her entire life to taking care of that child suddenly feels her life is worthless and she's of no importance to her society, to her family, to even herself and she doesn't know what to do with her life and she gets into depression. What do you do with that? Who do you talk to? If you talk to someone else, everyone says, we are also going through that. 
लेकिन तो क्या इज नॉट दी आंसर दैट्स वेन यू नीड पीपल टू लुक आफ्टर यू पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट यूर गोइंग थ्रू एम्पथाइज विथ यू give you some kind of sympathy give you a direction give you a road map to walk on to get back into the society to be able to deal with yourself to move ahead in life and make something out of it i think it's so important that so many of you the clients of manava also here a lot of caregivers here it is so important to understand that being a caregiver can probably nip these diseases these mental illnesses right in the bud we will probably help the person get used to the society to be able to make something out of their lives much earlier in life than actually facing the deepest and deepest of depression or going into the thought of wanting to commit suicide of going into the thought of being alone being lonely being invaluable to society i think manav and the caregivers will help each and every one of us because believe me we all go through some time or the other we go through our lows and we always hope and wish that we had a friend we had some shoulder to cry on someone who would understand us to understand our feeling not judge us not tell us ki tum jo soch rahe ho wo bura hai tum jo soch rahe ho सही नहीं है तुम जो कर रहे हो वो सही नहीं है आई थिंक द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज फॉर पीपल टू जस्ट लिस वी हैव लॉस्ट द आर्ट ऑफ लिसनिंग वी हैव जस्ट लॉस्ट द आर्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग और ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दी अदर वन इज फीलिंग एंड इट्स नॉट नेसरी दैट ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू फील द सेम एवरी पर्सन फील्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड इमोशंस डिफरेंटली and i'm so happy that manav has got a lot of caregivers a lot of people who are willing to give that listening ear that we all require so kudos to manav and i hope that ye 20 saal to yahi nikal gaye 20 saal aur inka chalna chahiye aur not only 20 saal i think manav should make every manav self reliant jaise hamare modi ji kehte hain आत्मनिर्भर बनो सो थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर मानव एंड थैंक यू आई विश मानव दैट मेक्स ऑल द इंडिविजुअल्स आत्मनिर्भर एट द एंड ऑफ द डे सो थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू भाग्यश्री फॉर योर इंस्पायरिंग एंड काइंड वर्ड्स योर एम्पथेटिक and kind nature to the plight that many of us face including the clients and caregivers is truly inspiring and i'm sure an icon as important as you will really give hope a memorable message to everyone seated <coughs> this brings us to the end of today's event except for the most important word of thanks to be offered by manav foundation trustee pradeep andar mantra bhai main yahan rukta main yahan rukta hai kya rukte hain मैं यहाँ बाइट करते हैं यहाँ पे आप बाइट करते हैं एक मिनट हाँ अब अपन जो है सो फर्स्टली मैम आज जो बात हुई मोस्टली इट वॉज अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ द सो मेनी थिंग्स जो सीखने जैसे भी चल समथिंग अबाउट वॉट ब्रिंग्स यू योर मोस्टली I feel it's very important uh, in today's times where we talk about mental health it's not just about deeper mental illnesses but also daily depression anxiety pressures that we face in society mere khayal se jo gen next hai unme itna sara pressure hai kyunki ek second do you want me to speak in hindi or in english it's fine you can go in both the language um 
जो जेन नेक्स्ट है बहुत सारा वर्क प्रेशर होता है सोसाइटल प्रेशर होता है पहले बड़ी फैमिलीज़ होती थी जहाँ पे मामा चाचा बुआ कोई ना कोई होता था कि भाई अगर माँ बाप के बीच और बच्चे के बीच में कुछ तंज हो जाए तो वो लोग संभाल लेते थे अगर मियाँ बीवी के बीच में कुछ हो जाए तो बड़े संभाल लेते थे अब न्यूक्लियर फैमिलीज़ हो गई है लोग अकेले रहना शुरू कर दिए है वर्क प्रेशर्स है कंपटीशन है सोशल मीडिया है इतने सारे प्रेशर्स होने के बाद डिप्रेशन और एंगजाइटी दोनों बढ़ चुकी है बेसिकली इन सोसाइटी और हाल ही में एक फिल्म आई थी खो गए हम कहाँ दैट एक्चुअली टेल्स अबाउट चिल्ड्रन गोइंग थ्रू सो मच प्रेशर तो uh, मेरे ख्याल से मेंटल इलनेस या मेंटल एक्साइटी या डिप्रेशन ये चीज़ सोसाइटी में बढ़ गई है बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि uh, हम हमारे फैमिलीज़ के साथ हमारे फ्रेंड्स के साथ उस तरीके से व्यवहार करें जहाँ पर एक दूसरे को नीचा नहीं दिखाए एक दूसरे को समझने की कोशिश करें एक दूसरे की Uh, बात समझे सुने लाइक आई सेड इवन आउटसाइड दैट इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लिसन सब लोग अपना अपनी बात कहना चाहते हैं लेकिन सुनना कोई भी नहीं चाहता तो सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम तो ये हुआ है कि हाउ आर यू तो सब पूछते हैं हाउ आर यू के बाद नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस भी पूछ लेते हैं हाउ आर यू का जवाब कोई नहीं सुनना चाहता सो दैट इज़ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट आई थिंक दैट विल रियली रियली हेल्प मैम आपसे ये भी जानना चाहेंगे जिस तरह इस टाइम की बात करें तो सोशल मीडिया सबसे ज़्यादा मतलब मेंटली हेल्थ के रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ज़्यादा उनके क्योंकि लोग स्टेटस देख दिखाना चाहते हैं सो उसके रिलेटेड क्या कुछ कहना चाहेंगे यंग यूथ के देखिए बात ये है कि सोशल मीडिया इज़ अ टूल एक मार्केटिंग टूल है तो वो वहीं तक सीमित रहना चाहिए जो हम जैसे एडवर्टाइजमेंट करते हैं टीवी पे कोई चीज़ चीज़ दिखाते हैं सोशल मीडिया पे वैसे ही होता है तो हम वहाँ तक ही रखें सीमित उसे एडवर्टाइजमेंट के हिसाब से एंटरटेनमेंट के हिसाब से मार्केटिंग के हिसाब से तब तक तो ठीक है बाकी अगर आप किसी चीज़ को देख के ईर्षा कर लो या ये सोचो कि उसके पास है और हमारे पास नहीं है वो बात अगर आपको मन में दिमाग में खाई जाती है तो फिर तो डिप्रेशन होने वाला है so it's important to be satisfied mam uh, one last question uh, yeah, yeah. hum kai baar dekhte hai ki jisko kaam nahi mil pata on a regular basis they fell into depression and end up committing suicide what i have seen so have you ever fell into the depression or something like that and agar aapke man mein kuch message hai to those people who are going into the depression field right now so unke liye kya kuch karna hoga sabse aham baat hai ki अपनों से बात करो और मैं उन लोगों को ये कहना चाहूँगी जिनके घरों में बच्चे हैं या कोई इंसान उनको लगता है जो डिप्रेशन में जा रहा है उनकी बातें सुनो उनको ये एहसास दिलाओ कि हम आपके साथ हैं हम आ, हम आपके लिए हैं और हम आपकी क्या मदद कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अगर आप ना जानते हुए सिर्फ सल्यूशंस उनको दे जो सोल्यूशन उसको लगता नहीं है तो और मुश्किल हो सकती है तो उनके लिए बहुत ज़रूरी है कि मेडिकल हेल्प ले ले, डॉक्टर्स के पास जाए जैसे हमें सर्दी ज़ुकाम खांसी होती है बुखार होता है हम डॉक्टर्स के पास जाके उसकी दवाई लेते हैं तो डिप्रेशन भी ऐसे ही है लोग उन्हें पागल नहीं समझे उनकी हेल्प करें अगर आ, कोई मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर है या साइकेट्रिस्ट है उनके पास जाकर अपना दिल का बोझ हल्का कर ले अपने मन की बात कर ले तो शायद ये सलूशन उन्हें मिल सकता है कि अपनी लाइफ कैसे सुधारे और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट बात ये है कि अगर हम इस चीज़ की अवेयरनेस खुद में रखें कि हम डिप्रेशन में जा रहे हैं या हमें किस चीज़ की आ, हमें बुरा लग रहा है तो स, चीज़ से दूरी रखे जैसे इन्होंने कहा कि सोशल मीडिया से हम दूर जाए नेचर में जाए हम फ्रेश एयर ले खुली सांस ले देखिए हम बम्बई जैसे शहर में रहते हैं वहाँ इतनी सारी पोल्यूशन होती है इतना सारा टेंशन होता है आवाज़ होती है हम अपने आप के साथ ही नहीं रह सकते तो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि हम 
दिन में कुछ वक्त जैसे बोलते हैं मेडिटेशन करो या अपने आप आप क्या चाहते हो वो समझो उसके उस रास्ते पे चलने का प्रयास करो जो हमारी आकांक्षाएं हैं हमारे सपने हैं उनको तिजोरी में कभी बंद नहीं करना चाहिए उसकी ओर दौड़ना चाहिए चलना चाहिए या रेंगना चाहिए लेकिन चलना ज़रूर चाहिए क्योंकि वो सपने ही हैं जो हमें होप दिलाते हैं हमें खुश रखते हैं और उन्हें हम उन्हें हमें कभी नहीं छोड़ना चाहिए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू